hi guys welcome back once again to another interesting video this video is very very interested that i need your opinion please drop it on the comment section i need your opinion and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it out for others to see and so guys i saw this video and i decided to come here and share it with you guys because at times we might be misleading ourselves and we will not know at times we might not understand things i wish we need somebody to tell us what we need to know and it's like i'm beginning to get what this man is saying but because of understand the way we understand things we will try to as in put it somehow guys watch this video because they say charity begins at home at times we use our hand to cause our problem and we might not know so watch this video and tell me your mind let me know if church is a scam so let's watch this video together and drop your comment on this comment section subscribe if you have not subscribed and i will see you in my next video peace there's no hopeless life as a person as a man who is quarreling with his own father and his own mother you go to witch doctors when your things are not moving well and you think that they've bewitched you i want to tell you today the biggest witchcraft is relationships that are not fixed between you and your parents there's nothing wrong with you going back to your mother's house and clean up the graves of your own fathers there's nothing wrong i didn't say worship them clean them up in my tribe there's a proverb that says never allow your son to marry a girl when you have not seen the grandfather's graves the roots support the tree the tree does not support the roots if you water your roots you will have fruits that is the bible honor your father and your mother the only commandment that has an insurance policy and your days will be many that the lord will give you prayer does not substitute personal responsibility at a family level I challenge this church to its roots. We cannot have members who are easily convinced that they must retain 10% of their salaries as tithe and offerings, yet they are sending 200 rand to their own mothers and fathers. You are worse than pagans. Your responsibility to the church cannot be more than your responsibility to your own family. Because you want to bribe God and bribe angels so that you enter heaven. How can you say you love God whom you have never seen? When you hate your parents who have brought you into existence. If your religion makes you look after it more than your own parents, the Bible calls you a non-believer, worse than a pagan. Go and read for yourself. True African spirit says, take your responsibility seriously. That is first bus stop before you run the church. This is the reason why I sometimes say, if we are not careful, we are going to develop a cult. What is a cult? A cult is that which takes human beings away from their families and creates an artificial family somewhere called Adventism. All of a sudden, your parents are demons. Those who don't believe in you in Adventism have become Satan. We are not Adventism. We Adventists. We Adventists. We Adventists. Before you notice it, David Koresh came out of that ideology. Fascist. You keep on driving that agenda. You end up in the midst of nowhere. Where you can no longer recognize your own family for the sake of the church. That cannot be African. Africans will start at home. And what religion is it that will make you divorce your own parents? Water that tree. Whether your mother is a Sangoma or Mtakati or a witch doctor, water that tree. God is not a fool. This is the door through which you came into existence. The prayers of your parents are far much more important than the prayers of your pastors. When your parents wish you well, it will be well with you. When your mother goes nah on you, go and try. Go and try. Make deals. You'll come back home with pockets that have holes. Why? Because when you don't secure your roots, you can never have fruits on the top side.